Over the course of the year, DMG Mari UK hold technology days. Today we're here and we're going to be speaking to Steve Finn to look at the benefits of why engineers should actually visit the technology days. But also we're going to be speaking to James Cliss, talking about finance and the best way to actually buy a machine tool. Lastly, Paul is going to be reviewing the new DMU50. Steve, the floor looks busy, but could you tell me the experience that engineers get from your technology days? Well, we're very pleased to let customers come in uh, and look at new technologies. Uh, this particular technology day, we're concentrating on gear skiving, and gear cutting, on mill turn machines and turning machines. So this is quite um, a good advantage for people that are making commercial gears. Uh, we have had companies in that are looking at very high class gears and we can hit good tolerances on there. So this is interesting. Um, the next technology day that we will be doing will be concentrating on hard turning. So there's a theme to each one of these um, events that the uh, customers have an opportunity to learn something new and for us to actually learn from them as well. And I, I see when the engineers are coming here, they're not just looking for technology, they're looking for a solution, but also it's all about finance as well. What, what does DMG Mori UK offer in that department? Well, that's very interesting because, you know, at the end of the day, someone's got to write a big check. And capital investment in today's marketplace, you know, is, is a big choice for a customer. Um, you know, the political scene is not particularly good. Uh, and these guys are investing for the next 5, 10, 15 years and beyond. So what we have done is we've introduced DMG Murray Finance. This is not a finance package that is backed by uh, a finance house. Um, as for example, like your Marks and Spencer's card is backed by you know, one of the big, big players behind. This is actually backed by the factory. Um, and there's lots of detail on that, but we can customize packages to suit the customer's needs. And that's what it's all about, is, is finding that solution throughout their process. But one thing I've also noticed, that you've launched in the new DMU50. I know Paul's going to talk about it, but what, what, what sort of main features are there on that machine? Well, it's the Generation 3, so we're, we're moving on and on and on. We're building in um, you know, better quality, better reliability, um, and, and faster and better performance all around. And um, as Paul's going to do a little part on that, he can show all the technical aspects of it. But it's, it's interesting. We've already sold a few machines. It's come into the showroom very recently. Um, and the, the previous generations were very well accepted in the marketplace. Steve, thanks for your time. Thank you, Mark. Cheers. James, you head up the finance side for DMG Mori UK, but could you tell us some of the trends that your customers are using finance or possibly leasing machines? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in recent times, you know, we, we've always seen higher purchase and finance lease, the traditional type of financing that UK customers use. We've been very fortunate that DMG Mori actually has its own finance company based in Germany. Unlike any other lender, it's actually owned by DMG Mori. So its sole purpose is to assist customers to purchase the latest technology. So what are the benefits, James? Well, Mark, DMG Mori Finance is very, very different to a traditional UK lender. Because it is the manufacturer's own financing arm based in Germany, we've got the ability to write deals here in the UK now in sterling, in dollars and in euros. And I guess the major difference is because they're so intrinsically linked to the manufacturer, they've got a wonderful understanding of the value of these machines in five, six years time. So what it does mean to the benefit to the customer is that the residual value can be much, much higher than a normal lender would apply. That means the customer gets much more technology for a lower monthly payment. So I'm going to put you on the spot here. Just roughly 10 years ago, how many people were using finance? from DMG Mori, and how many people are using it now? Well, just to give you a flavour, last month, we financed over five million pounds of machinery. That's 25 machines. Well, that's significant, isn't it's, it? It's a huge step change. James, that's great. Thanks for your time. Cheers, Mark. Thank you. Abby, Mapel, you're all about tooling, but could you tell me a little bit more why you're here at the DMG Mori Technology Day? We were invited here today, this is quite a new thing for us, but it's nice to be an open day. Um, we get to meet lots of new customers, lots of existing inquiries, and some people have come in and we can help with their tooling solutions, so it's been quite good so far. Does it give you the opportunity to engage with some of the sales guys, and obviously when they're selling machines, there's a partner in MapHealth from a solution providing point of view? 
Absolutely, it's been brilliant because some of the guys from DMG have come over and said to us, you know, can you offer this with one of our machines? So, as I say, being a good tooling uh, solution provider, we can offer quite a lot and um, we've had some good inquiries and it should be good in the future, hopefully. Great. Will we see you at some of the other technology days? I hope so. Hopefully we'll get some invites after today. That'd be really good. <laughs> good stuff. Thanks, Avi. You're welcome. Thank you. Wesley, we're here at DMG Moray Technology Day. It's the second day. But more importantly, could you tell us why you actually part the DMG Moray Technology Days? I might. Well, you're aware that we've been working with DMG Moray for, uh, for a couple of years now. Uh, this is an opportunity to, to showcase our, our technologies, uh, the machine tool technology with the, the CAM technology bring those areas of expertise together and to, to showcase them and demonstrate them with existing customers uh, and also new customers. So do I take it that you do pick up new business from these events? We do, we do get some new introductions. Um, it starts the sales process off. It's a great platform for us as, as Vero Software to showcase some of our products. In particular today, we are showcasing um, some waveform turning, which is part of our, our EdgeCam uh, brand product. And uh, we're working in conjunction with Sambit Carmont and DMG Mori uh, to actually produce this part. So I presume we we'll see you at uh, some other technology days as well then? Yeah, but DMG Mori have uh, a couple more planned, I believe, for, for the year. And uh, we will continue to support them and again, showcase our, our technologies. Great, thanks Wes. Thank you very much. Neil, we've got a new model here from DMG Mori. Firstly, for our audience, tell us what the model is. Okay, it's our new DMU 53rd generation. So with it being the second generation then, what, what, what are some of the differences? Let's, let's start with the speed of the machine. Okay, with, well, with the second generation was the, was the machine before this one, this being the third generation. So now the speed of the machine has now gone to 42 metres from 30 metres. And also, that's the rapid speeds, but we can also feed at those as well. And while we are talking speed, we'll mention the spindle. The spindle is now 15,000 RPM, as standard, was 14,000 before, but we've gone from a, a direct drive spindle before, now to a motor spindle. For, again, for our audience, what, what's the difference between those two, Neil? Okay, a motor spindle is a cartridge with a motor built in it. So as the motor spins, it's connected directly to the spindle reception. With a, a direct drive spindle is where you have a mechanical interface to a coupling to a motor. So you have two separate units to the motor. A motor spindle is one unit. And what, what's the benefit of one over the other? Uh, the, what's better about what we've got here? Okay, now you get a much more responsive spindle. So for um, change of spindle speed is, is instant uh, and you need this also for rigid tapping it's a more powerful spindle and it's because it's direct straight to the cutting point instead of going through a coupling